Hello everyone, this is Holland with Holland SEO. I'm at the, well guess where I am? I'm with CC Elite Trooper CC of course as usual and what's our 20? The SEO HQ as usual and this is our coffee table set up. You know most people have you know such and such magazine or you know the world atlas to show people. Well this is what we have on our coffee table when people walk in to show you know just to let them know who we are and to tread lightly it's just a joke we'll start with a Swiss army knife I love the new Swiss products out as well toothpick tweezers a US army issue I like this one as well late 60s to about the early 80s the Vietnam era this is one of my favorite, it's ivory. I'm highly against the ivory trade, absolutely. It disgusts me. This is made of walrus ivory, walrus tusk ivory. There was a period of time when walrus tusk ivory and the people and that resided in the same area that walrus, walruses did, walruses did, uh, the dead carcasses, they would take the ivory anyway. This is another all-purpose utility knife. Now this is a carpenter knife that I, that I like. I just like to use it. If I need a new blade, guess what? Here we go. Click. I've got a new blade. This little all-purpose utility knife, of course they all come generally with pliers and whatnot. Has an LED at the end. Love that. Let's just go ahead and move over here for the sake of time. This is one that I used, and I, I took the end off, went to liberty to take the end off for the sake of time. There's the knife itself. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do on this baby. Well, you can unscrew the end. The liquid is even evaporated out of my compass that I used to use. And if you look at the end, sorry about the, whatever you saw on the floor there. There's fishing gear and a bit of first aid kit in there. And I'll set this to the side for room purposes. This knife is very dear to me. A gentleman that served in the forces, the military, in Scotland with my grandfather who fought in the Ardennes did not like the issued knife, the roll issue knife. So he brought his own steak knife from home and this is what he used during World War II. And he gave that to my grandma, my grand, for my grandfather. He also gave her this. I don't know where it's from or anything about it, I'll have to do a bit of research. This is a standard pocket knife that I just cut around. Now this one, only in a video game that is, is Faves knife for entertainment purposes only. Let me get this baby up. Now be careful when you handle knives. It's a real ruby for the A and that is a real gold coin in the middle right there. And the artesian work that went into this is just beautiful. Oops. Didn't mean to show that side. Anyway, comes with a nice leather case and we're done with that one. Off to the standard pocket knife saw fives. I mean elite troopers. Only in a video game and for entertainment purposes. His paraframe government. This was my grandfather's knife that he gave me and fives for entertainment purposes only. His paraframe Gerber. And Elite Trooper, or this is mine, but for entertainment purposes I gave it to Elite Trooper in a video game. 
through and through electrolysis Kershaw love this knife now this is a flip knife it's got a lock on it at the bottom in that position this will not this will trigger the blade sorry open it's not a switch blade it's a flip blade in that position it's locked it's hard doing this with one hand I'm a professional so do not try this at home and it's just difficult doing it with one hand this is faves and a video again it's a clip point and this is I love this knife it's beautiful this is elite knife in a video game just a pretty knife holds a good edge these are your standard run-of-the-mill machetes we call them the play school machetes that's what they are and there's another nice utility knife now this one this is my SOG throwing knife and that is exactly what it is is a throwing knife and it is very sharp as you can see as much of a trained professional as I am with these knives this one's already bit me one time so always be careful in handling any type of sharp object no matter if it's a knife or not I love this thing and the sheath slides right into it now this is a real machete this is my machete it's a Gerber just let you see the length of it like that serrated edge on the top now that's what I've used in a prior video called SOE, SCO versus the Vicious Earth where I had to pop a little water moccasin just a small one with my 223 or 243 I can't, I'm sure I use a smaller caliber but that's a nice little bit if you, hadn't caught, if you caught, haven't caught it yet catch it, do so just a wee little water moccasin that's it yeah right this is Elite's toy and a video game and pretend world it's got a score crusher like I said a nice ABS handle it's a Sheffield clip point serrated edge pair of frame nice and the sharpest knife video if you haven't caught that one that's a good catch watch it watch what this knife can do if I have time at the end of this I'll show you a wee bit more this is a boot knife can be used as a throwing knife but this is the bloodiest damn sharpest knife it's just one metal frame and that's the thickness I hope you can catch that there and the sheath <clears throat> and this is faves and pretend land uh, clip point Winchester I would say about a 10 inch blade something like that like I said only in a video game that is and now these are a few of our knives, I've not been able to round, round up all of them. This tool I like very much. It's a crescent wrench with a Phillips head, a serrated saw, a blade, and at the end of the serrated saw you've got, man you've got a flathead screwdriver and that is very nice. 
and we'll get into the other items here later on now that is a leather strop I use wet stones I prefer this type see the waviness in the wet stone gives a sharper edge I also have this whetstone for many, many years. As you can see, this was a straight top whetstone and now it's indented. It's been used so much. Except on this book, I have not sharpened this book and I've had it for a month, maybe over a month. My God, it still holds the same edge. Bloody hell. And you sharpen your knives on your wet stones. Absolutely. And then use your leather strop, which is right on top of the shotgun bandolier, to for a finer edge. And that's another type of knife that I've got. I need to clean some of these up. And I'll explain some of the other mess laying on the table in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed our a little coffee table presentation and this is my fire starter uh, to hell with the damn magnesium coated shit and magnesium bars I just use this for a fire starter it's mine so hope everyone enjoyed if you liked the video please hit like and if you didn't I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch and everyone have a good day, or good eve, wherever you may be in this world. Cheers, and cheers for watching. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Welcome to our coffee tables.